Good morning everyone, we started the day off really well today with Watchdog Man's Keepsake. Lance turned on his whale mode and actually got it. So I hope you enjoy the pulls and a little bit of some testing. And I explained why I actually got Watch Top Man's Keepsake as well as answered some of the viewers questions. Well, it was a bit early stream, so there were not many people around. But whoever that came, thank you, really appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and enjoy the video guys. Damn, today's going to be a rough day in the arena. going to be fun guys. Oh, I told myself I'm not going to spend in this game and I'm not going to do anything. And then end up, look where I am now. What a predicament we're in, guys. Okay, let's just grab it. So, let's see what we're dealing with. Nice, we got some down man shorts. More down man shorts. See how far we're in already. Okay, two more. We didn't put an extra card ticket, I don't think so. Although, I don't think he'll be strong right now for my team at least because I'm not using the meta lineup. But uh, hopefully. So this lineup will actually be the strongest lineup uh, moving forward. Oh, it doesn't do any damage though. But the seal plus ATT is passive, just eliminates his energy. So you can only use one ult. Morning, Jermaine. And it's really good because he actually buffs up the HP for Drive Knight. So I will argue lah, maybe RMG is a better placeholder for ATT in the current meta state. Lah. Not going to lie. But we'll see first. My team is still relatively tanky. And with the tenacity augment on to DK, he'll stay very healthy. I yeah I wasn't going to and uh, didn't go to plan. Four stack charge will do some damage but not enough I guess. I wasn't planning to not gonna lie. But um I I set aside some extra money just in case I wanted to. Uh, it's going to cut back a little bit on my spending, but uh, I guess it's fine. Why I decided? Because um, I'm a really big fan of Watcher Man. I really like the character. And the main reason actually why I got it is because um, I'm planning to compete in the future meta, which is ATT's meta. So if I want to compete in that meta, I definitely going to need uh, Dog Man's Keepsake. Without a doubt. If I do not have a uh, Dark Man's Keepsake, competing with in ATT meta is going to be 10 times harder. 
the lack of energy is really getting to his team, not going to lie. Now he has zero energy to ult already. So this is why you actually get Dogman skip set. You just really cut into their energy reserves if they didn't plan their energy talents well. I wouldn't say it's a bad lineup. I'm just thinking that for the current meta state, it's not suitable. Um, because there's just too many grapplers on the field. We're running three grapplers now with this lineup. I think it's too grappler heavy, which uh, is actually a common observation. What's up, Yosef De Silva? So, Dogman Skipsake is very good. The problem is that now that we have too many grapplers, and I cannot sacrifice ATT's uh, speed for now, la, my current team. If you got Dogman Capital, you will replace Amai, no. I still have to feel Amai, unfortunately. I still need a speed up character on my team. I don't want to run full speed ATT. I'm not really interested to run that. Um, but for now, I won't feel Dogman in my arena team. A lot of people are inherently running Dogman because of channels now. So their lineups will do better than mine for the time being. Once ATT KS come, uh, everything will change. Huh? So for now, I'm just chilling. Um, PvP wise, I'm not too interested in the current meta, which is the transition meta now. I'm looking forward more towards the next meta. So yeah, this is actually a good investment long term wise because Dogman will be able to be used for a very very long time with the shots. I don't have RMG keepsake. Is it better to just replace RMG with DK in my team? You can. Um, the main reason why you use RMG in this current meta is because of a follow up, a round 1 follow up which you need the KS to activate. So if you don't have it, you can replace it with other characters. I recommend rep uh, replacing with Watchdog Man or Drive Knight also is okay um, depending on what you have. 6.2M. Hmm. 6.2M. Is that enough? I don't think so. Although, mm, I probably won't give him a run for his money. I'll be able to do something. I'm sure. Let's try. 60 diamonds is a small price to pay for entertainment. Okay, maybe I change the sweet tune between Bangpu and Zombie Man. I think that would be better. Optimization wise. So yeah, because I don't have the energy talents for Drive Knight and Bang Poo, and uh, the one on um, Zombie Man is not max, so you can see the energy disparity right here, it's very obvious. So I have like 2 plus 3, so I have 5 to 6 energy, and he has 8. Yep, this general's all will kill me. Rip. So a few notes to this, I should probably, if I want to fight wave, I'll probably change this and I'll probably tune up zombie man speed a bit. But yeah, not as far as I thought it would be. So we'll move this to just a, a regular HP stack of thing. Oh, this will work. Attack HP, do I have anything upgraded that I can put? This on magic. Mm -hmm. I guess that'll work. Five or six speed. What's up, Farhan? Good morning. We just actually finished the. Uh, Good day, everyone. <laughs> Say bye, Rosie. Bye bye.